All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, we got an interesting video here. Shout out to the Grunge channel. Uh, the real reason why Robert Plant hates Stairway to Heaven. Uh, wow. You guys know I just reacted to that Days and Confused movie. Appreciate all the ones who went over there and checked that out with me. So we're going we gonna to watch this again. Shout out to y'all for coming over. Trying to keep great music alive the best way I can. Y'all see the shirt. <laughs> All right, so we ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Led Zeppelin is one of the most popular and influential rock bands of all time, and the right. best known and best loved song is the classic Stairway to Heaven. So why does lead singer Robert Plant hate his own hit so much? In order to answer that, first we have to set the stage. Consisting of Plant, lead guitarist Jimmy Page, bassist John Paul Jones, and drummer John Bonham, Led Zeppelin recorded over 100 songs across 8 studio albums spanning 12 years. Plant was responsible for some of the band's best work, including writing the lyrics for hits like Heartbreaker, Cashmere, Going to California, and more. However, the guys from the band weren't always fond of all of Led Zeppelin's songs. For example, in 1979, Plant wrote a song called All My Love about the tragic death of his five-year-old son. Mm. But while Page appreciated the sentiment, he wasn't a fan of the song's sound. He told Light and Shade author Brad Tolinsky, I was a little worried about the chorus. I could just imagine people doing the wave and all of that. And I thought, that is not us. That is mm. not us. Ultimately, pa I, I see where, where they're going with this. I see that. You know, some sometimes a song that does very, very well, better than you expect it, but you may have, um, you know, sometimes people have, I mean, individually with the band members, but, you know, how people have a different attachment to a certain song, but then the audience or, or the radio stations, they pump out a certain song, like whether it's, it's it going to be in a movie or just whatever the case may be. And sometimes even though it's your song, you created it and stuff like that. Well, I don't even know if it was a cover, but, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Sometimes hearing the song over and over, you're just like, Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I see where they're going with this. Imagine people doing the wave and all of that. And I thought, that is not us. That is not us. Ultimately, Page didn't object to the song's inclusion on the album because of how much it meant to plant, as long as it was an exception to their usual hard rocking rule. In its place, it was fine, but I would not have wanted to pursue that direction in the future. Of course, Turnabout is fair play, and the one song that Plant himself has grown to loathe over the years is the guitar epic Stairway to Heaven, which Rolling Stone called, quote, a furious page solo that storms heaven's gate. Mm. But any music fan can understand Plant's problem with Stairway to Heaven. Just like Radiohead with Creep, huge bands tend to end up hating the song that goes on to define them in the popular culture. Plant yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, just a song that defines them or represent, you know what I mean? Like they probably had another song that they would say would fit better with their image or whatever the case may be. I, I, yeah, yeah, definitely. With Creep, huge bands tend to end up hating the song that goes on to define them in the popular culture. Plant and Page co-wrote the song, which was released in 1971 in the album Led Zeppelin IV. And even though it's widely considered one of the greatest rock and roll songs of all time, Plant said he hated it because he got sick and tired of playing it over the years. In 1988, he told the Los Angeles Times, I'd break out in hives if I had to sing that song in every show. <laughs> According to Vanity Fair, Plant called it, quote, that bloody wedding song. He's actually refused to play it live since the 1980s, and according to the Oregonian, he even went so far as to donate $1,000 to a public radio station in Portland in 2002 after he heard the DJ say he would never play the song again if they got enough donations. And you can't really blame him, considering Stairway to Heaven has reportedly become the most played rock song of all time, despite not even charting on its original debut due to the band's policy against releasing singles. Ironically, Stairway to Heaven re Which we found out in that days and confused, they didn't release singles. I mean, how many times have you guys heard that song? I, I know you guys are, most people are going to say a lot. Throw a number out there. More than a thousand? Because I know, I know it's certain songs like Gin and Juice. Woo, I done played the hell out of that song. But I get exactly what they're saying. But the audience, they don't care. Like, we want to hear it. It's original debut due to the band's policy against releasing singles. Ironically, Stairway to Heaven recently came back to haunt Robert Plant in a big way. 
As the BBC reports, Led Zeppelin was sued in 2014 for copyright infringement. The lawsuit claimed that Zeppelin had filched the song's main riff from the song Taurus by a much less popular American band from the 1960s called Spirit. Lawyers for the plaintiff claimed that Plant heard Spirit play the song at a club in Birmingham, England, way back in 1970. Spirit bassist Mark Andes testified at the original trial that he met the world-famous singer that night and the two even played a friendly game of snooker after the show. Plant argued that he had no recollection of the song, the band, or Andes, in part because Plant had been involved in a car accident later that same night and suffered a head injury. Mm. And for his part, Page said that the Spirit song was, quote, totally alien to him and he had never heard of it, much less stolen from it. Led Zeppelin won the case in 2016, but in 2018 it was reopened on appeal. They won the appeal as well, so the plaintiffs took it to the U.S. Supreme Court. However, in October 2020, the Supreme Court declined to hear the case, officially ending the lawsuit in Zeppelin's favor. So while he may still have to hear the song on the radio, at least Plant won't have to hear Stairway to Heaven in court again. <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite bands are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Appreciate the grunge channel. Again, man. After watching that Days and Confused, I, I, I remember now, because I was like, wait, it, it just hit me that they, what I was trying to say about the song being a cover was, um, you know, the guy who was claiming that they stole, you, you know, what they just said right there. But, I mean, after, like, are you guys tired of this song? Or you could, if, if you went somewhere and you heard it today, you're going to sing along or you're going to go, oh, crap, let me get out of this store. You know, because I remember the wave of reaction videos to this song. And I, I feel like in a reaction video, that's different because you're getting to, you're, you're trying to see if the reactor is going to feel the same way you did, you know, and then you can get those emotions all over again. But as far as just listening to it on your own, how many of you guys have done that? Because I, I I understand where they are coming from as the creators, the singers, the you when you go on tour and you know, because it's a it's a slow, it, yeah. But I mean the song is great, it's great. But you know, I don't know if that defines them. Cause they, ooh, they got some, they got a catalog. What do you guys say the best song is that defines Led Zeppelin? Like I said, after watching Days of Confused, man, it really, you know, all the stuff like the touring and how they, I thought, I mean, not saying they didn't party, but I'm just saying, I thought it was just on and on and on, but it was like at one point they got kind of, tired of it and they were wanted to be more chill and reserved so yeah yeah all right hey appreciate the grunge channel make sure you guys are subscribed they do got some really good videos over here um appreciate you guys coming over man peace out